Hello Libra, Sun Rising and Venus, and welcome to your reading. So Libra, let's go over the overall energy for your reading for today for Libra, Sun Rising and Venus. So we do have, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you see. Okay, we'll see why you're getting this card, Libra, and how it resonates with your reading for today. But let's focus on you first. And then we'll jump over to your person. Just keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid. So this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. How does Libra currently view this relationship? Okay. So we have the Queen of Wands. We have the Five of Swords. And then we also have the Ten of Pentacles. So in regards to how you're currently viewing this relationship, it kind of looks like there's a lot of tension and conflict here, uh, possibly between you and a coworker, maybe even between you and a family member, or possibly somebody that um, you currently live with or somebody that you're romantically involved with. But I do want to look at the Five of Swords. Can I remember about the Five of Swords? Okay. We have the Nine of Pentacles, we got the Four of Swords, and then we also have the Ace of Cups. Whoever this person is that you're experiencing all this tension and conflict with, you guys, it could totally represent somebody that you're married to or currently in a committed relationship with. For some of you, you might even share a home with this person. But there's like an overall energy of you not wanting to deal with a specific person anymore. There's an overall energy of you wanting to walk away from this situation and just kind of start over is kind of what I'm getting. I feel like you're kind of getting sick and tired of dealing with one person in particular particular okay and it does kind of feel like somebody that you're romantically involved with it does kind of feel like somebody that you could even possibly share a home with is kind of what I'm getting but there's an energy of you wanting out there's an energy of you just wanting to kind of start over uh with your life and just kind of move forward and move and move on from this is kind of what I'm getting how does this person currently view this relationship with Libra This is just one of those situations, Libra, where what's going to make you happy is not going to make them happy. And what's going to make them happy is not going to make you happy is kind of what I'm getting. Because it kind of looks like this person um, still wants to continue to invest more time and energy towards this. This person feels like they have invested a lot of time and energy towards this relationship that they share with you thus far. And they want it to basically count for something is kind of uh, what I'm getting here. But like I said, dude, what's going to make... You happy is not going to make them happy. What's going to make them happy is not going to make you happy. Uh, with the moon to the hair font to the page of wants to start coming out here. I feel like this person um, is extremely convinced that you're the one for them. I feel like this person is extremely convinced uh, that you're the one that they want to spend the rest of their life with. You know, things of that nature. So it doesn't look like... It doesn't look like this person has any sort of intentions of going anywhere is kind of what I'm getting, Libra. So I am more about the Five of Swords. We have the Moon, we have the Fool, and then we also have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, you're kind of in this overall energy of, I just don't understand. I just don't understand. Like, why can't this person just let me go? Why can't this person just move forward and move on with their life? Why can't they just respect how I feel? Well, my friend, you got to understand that you're kind of showing up as a queen of wands to the queen of pentacles. This is like my favorite freaking combo of all time, okay? You're damn near close to fucking perfect, okay? Queen of pentacles is somebody who has a lot of respect for themselves. It's somebody who knows their value. It's somebody who knows their worth. It's somebody who's very career oriented. Somebody who's very, very hardworking. Somebody who does currently have a lot going for themselves. It's also somebody who's very, very ambitious. Queen of Wands is somebody who's very freaking attractive, okay? Very attractive. Um, very ambitious. I think I already said that already. You're, you're basically the total package. In other words, you're basically the total package. You know, had you been a page or something like that? Yeah, I don't see this person having a difficult time walking away from you and letting you go. But that's just simply not the case, okay? Um, so, I mean, I get why this person doesn't want to let you go. Completely understand it. Um, but, you know, that's kind of your, your whole thing is I just don't understand. Like, why can't this person just let me go? Why can't this person just move on with their life? Why can't they just respect how I feel? Well, it's it's because you're damn near close to fucking perfection for this one over here. So letting someone like you go, it's not an easy thing to do. It's not an easy thing to do, Libra. It's just not an easy thing to do. All right. How does Libra currently feel? Okay. We have the king of wands 
okay we have the three of wands and then we also have the uh, queen of cups so you guys are showing up as a king and the queen of wands there's a huge possibility that you could currently find yourself connecting with your twin flame okay is kind of what i'm getting now that being said, the king and the queen of wands, typically, they have a very toxic and chaotic relationship with one another. They typically have a very unstable relationship with one another. Like, just typically, that's what the king and the queen of wands typically go through, okay? Um, and I kind of feel like that's kind of what you've, you've been experiencing here with this person is a lot of toxicity, a lot of uh, fighting, a lot of arguing, a whole lot of not seeing eye to eye, you know, things of that nature. And you're definitely desiring a more healthy and stable relationship, um, is kind of what I'm getting, all right? And this is why a lot of you feel like in order to obtain this stable and healthy relationship that you truly desire for yourself, a lot of you feel like you have to kind of turn your back on this marriage, on this relationship with this King of Wands in order to find that, um, in order to obtain that for yourself. Okay. How does this person currently feel okay let's see e. we have the nine of wands jesus we got the five of swords and then we also have the strength card this is kind of telling me that this person feels like they're losing control of you and this situation that they currently find themselves in with you and they don't necessarily like it okay so one can say that this person's a little bit of a control freak that's definitely a possibility um but i see this person trying their hardest uh, to make sure that they basically get the outcome that they want out of this entire situation here between you and them. And what they want is for you to continue to pour into this connection. What they want is for you to stay with them. What they want is for you to obviously not go absolutely anywhere. But due to the way things are currently playing out here between you and them, it's causing them to kind of feel like they're kind of losing control here and they don't like it. And they don't like it. It's also causing this person to kind of freak out and worry just a little bit because they feel like they're currently losing control over you and this entire situation. Tell me more about the nine of wands. All right. So this person, yeah, they, they definitely do look at you like you're the total package. I mean, we have the empress out here and the empresses are all of the queens in one. You already showed up as a queen of pentacles you showed up as the queen of wands you also showed up as a queen of cups the only thing that we're honestly missing is the uh, queen of swords but i think it's safe to say that you're an empress you're basically the damn total package here okay um so it makes sense as to why it's kind of hard for this person to just let you go and just let you walk right out of their life i mean it, it makes total sense it makes total sense you are literally everything that this person could possibly even ask for within a person and then some. So in other words, you've definitely exceeded this person's expectations. I gotta be honest, them walking away from this marriage or this relationship that they share with you is not even a freaking option in their mind. They don't care how bad it gets between you and them. They don't care. Um, they're here to stay is kind of what I'm getting. They're definitely here to stay. Leaving you Leaving you is just not even a damn option in their mind. It's just not a freaking option in their mind. Now, you leaving them is definitely an option in your mind. But in their mind, no. There is no walking away from this marriage. There is no walking away from this relationship. No. 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 No, that's not an option in their mind. What actions will Libra take towards this human or moving forward? Okay. So... We have the Four of Cups, we got the Ace of Wands, and then we also have the Three of Pentacles. I'm going to say something, Libra. I'm just going to say something because it's something that I just kind of started to kind of notice with you. And it keeps showing up time and time again. At first, I was like, ah, oh, let me let that slide. But it's showing up again, so I figured I'd just kind of say it. Um, between you and I, and I don't even know if you're consciously aware of this. This, this energy that you're showing up with, it's an energy of, I just want to move on with my life. I just want this person to move on with theirs. I just want this person to leave me alone. I just want to be happy. You know, I just, I just, I just want this person to go. Just want this person to leave me alone. Um, I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it. And I don't even know if you're consciously aware of what you're doing here, but it's like you're waiting for them to let you go. I don't understand why you just can't let them go and just keep it pushing. You know what I mean? Um, and I don't know if you're consciously aware of what you're doing here, but that's kind of what you're doing here. It's like 
you're putting your life on hold and what you want to do next with your life because they're not ready to basically let you go. Why are you waiting for them to let you go? You know what I mean? Why are, why are you why why are you waiting for them to let you go? Why don't you just let them go and just move on with your life and, and create this life that you truly want and desire for yourself? You know what I mean? You're you're that's what you're doing here. You're literally putting your life on hold and what you want to manifest and create for yourself next after this marriage, after this relationship, because they're not ready to let you go. That's kind of what I'm noticing, Libra. That's kind of what I'm noticing here. And listen, dude, you may not be consciously aware. You know what I mean? That you're doing this, but you you totally are doing this. You're, you're, you're putting everything on hold until they're ready to basically let you go. Once they're ready to let you go, then I kind of see you getting this ball rolling your hair of like, okay, let me do this with my life. Let me do that with my life. I don't, I don't see why you have to sit around and wait on them to let you go. You could definitely free yourself, in other words. In other words, right? You could definitely free yourself from this entire situation if you really, really wanted to, which is kind of making me question, do you really want to walk away from this or not? Because if you honestly did, you would have made it happen. And that's just me being real with you. That's just me, you know, being real with you, okay? That's just me being real with you. Um, maybe you're not ready to walk away like you think you are. You know what I mean? That's a possibility, dude. That's a possibility. But trust me, when a person really wants to get out of a situation, they'll make it happen. They'll truly make it happen. Um, but right now, all I see you kind of doing right now is, you know... I just don't understand. Why can't they just let me go? Why can't they just walk away? Why can't we just get this divorce? Like, I just don't understand. Like, you know, you're you're kind of waiting on them to let you go. Which, to be honest, you guys may not even be married to one another. It's very rare for me to see the king and the queen of wands married to one another. And you guys are showing up as a king and the queen of wands. Very rare for me to see that. But, I mean, granted, there is a possibility that, you know... You could very well be married to this person, but your whole thing is, I just, I just want to move on with my life. I just want to do this, 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 and this, and this, uh, but this one over here, they just won't let me go. They just won't let me go. They just won't let me go. So you feel like you're stuck in a situation that you don't want to be in, but you don't have to be in this situation. You don't really have to be in the situation that you're currently in, Libra, but a lot of you feel like, no, I have to be in this situation because they refuse to let me go. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, Libra. I kind of feel like there there could be a possibility because, I mean, Three of Pentacles to the Four of Cups, it could definitely insinuate that. That there's a possibility that a part of you isn't ready to walk away from this and a part of you is. And that's what's keeping you here. You know what I mean? Um, that's a possibility. But anyways, we have temperance. We got the eight of cups. And then we also have the uh, six of cups. I'm going to be very honest with what I'm seeing here. This person, not saying that this is true, we are going based off of, according to them, how they're feeling and how they're looking at this entire situation through their perspective. They kind of feel like it's only a matter of time before you eventually come around. That's what they feel. That's what they feel is that it's only a matter of time before eventually you come around. Eventually you'll be willing to work things out with them and, you know, things of that nature. The bottom of the deck, we do have the uh, sun. We also have the six of cups. And then we also have the emperor with the two of wands. And then we also have the page of swords to the three of swords. And then we also have the king of cups. Okay, it all makes sense now. It all makes sense. So you showed up as an empress. They showed up as a king of wands. Okay. I kind of feel like um, a lot of you might have a lot of issues within this marriage or this relationship because they're not the person that you want them to be. I feel like you have like this perfect man or this perfect woman in your in your brain, right? And you just want them so badly to be that perfect man for you or that perfect one woman for you. And the more you try to make this marriage work, try to make this relationship work, the more it's revealed to you that, all right, they're not this perfect man that I want them to be. They're not this perfect woman that I want them to be. Now, what you want actually does exist. I want to throw that out there. What you want truly does exist. You could totally obtain that for yourself, but you know what you got to do in order to, 
obtain that for yourself, which we already kind of went over that. You know, you got to make room for what you truly want and desire for yourself. You're not going to be able to make room for what you truly want and desire for yourself remaining in this marriage, remaining in this entire situation. And I kind of feel like that is like, you know, the issue here that I'm also kind of seeing is that they're not the man you want them to be they're not the woman that you want them to be and that causes you to kind of feel like no like i don't want to keep making this work because they're just not the man that i want them to be they're not the woman that you know i want them to be so i want out i want out i want out but what keeps you also too in this situation is but well, what if one day what if one day they eventually become the man that I want them to be or the woman that I want them to be um, is, is kind of what I'm also getting from you, which I'm going to be honest. Let's just call a spade a spade today, right? Let's just be real. I kind of feel like I'm going to be real with you. There's a mm, there's a I'm going to have to say it because of the cards that you're getting Libra. I don't feel like you're ready to walk away as much as you think you are. I'm going to be real. I'm going to be real. Let's see what you should do, though. Let's see what you should do. Which, which, now that I'm looking at it, they go from the King of Wands. We got a King of Cups out here now, which is kind of making me feel, and I got to give it to them because I got to give it to them granted okay they may not still be the man you want them to be or the woman that you want them to be but they have drastically improved throughout the course of their involvement with you i have to give that to them because they're going from the king of wands to the king of cups so there's levels to this you guys so we have the king of cups that comes out first we got the king of swords that follows um and then that's when we hit uh king of cups status and then uh we hit king of pentacles status so that's kind of telling me that yes they have drastically improved there is a lot of things that this person has actually changed about themselves but it's just still not it's just still not you know the person right that you truly want and desire for them to be they're still not the person that you truly want and desire for them to be is basically what i meant to say sorry my apologies anyways let's keep going what should libra do what should Libra do? Let's see, Libra. I'm going to be very honest with what I'm seeing here. Very honest with what I'm seeing here. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to have to say it, Libra. If you were to walk away from, and I'm not saying this to tell you, Libra, you need to continue to stay here, but I'm going based off of what just came out here for you. If you were to up and leave this person, okay, I do see you eventually meeting someone, okay? Um, and this is us talking out in advance here if you were to walk away. So I do see you eventually meeting someone. Now, if you think this one over here is nowhere near the man or the woman you want them to be, you haven't seen anything yet. It's basically what I want to communicate to you. Because I see you actually stumbling across somebody who... Uh, I see you kind of stumbling across someone who definitely, definitely does not have what you're looking for within a person. In other words, if you were to walk away from this, this human... This person that you're going to stumble across, it's going to make you feel like, damn, I should have stayed with such and such. You know what I mean? It's basically what I'm getting. Because you're, 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 you're stumbling across a page now. So you're going from a king of cups to a freaking page. Now, pages are typically uh, people who typically go after like empresses and emperors because pages are people who... Are codependent okay uh they're, they're people who look for people like you who are established have a lot of stuff going for themselves mainly because you know they need somebody to take care of them because they could barely take care of themselves also too this is somebody who doesn't really have as much life experience as you do so then that's another thing will this connection bring a lot of fun and excitement to your life sure but if the, if the, this is not somebody and i'm gonna be honest with you libra this is not somebody that you could build with this is not somebody that you can build with, okay? It's just not, okay? Now, I'm not saying eventually, you know what I mean? You won't find the person for you, but when you do meet this person, if you were to walk away from this relationship, it's going to make you feel like, damn, I should have stayed with such and such. Um, what else does Libra need to know? Okay. Um, if you do walk away from this relationship, what Spirit will want you to do instead is to not even mingle with this human over here instead 
Spirit wants you to kind of take this time to really focus on you and manifesting and creating a life that you truly want for yourself. Let love find you. Don't go looking for it. Even if this human being does come looking for you, you're not, you're going to realize very, very quickly that this is not the one for you. This is not the one that you want to merge yourself to Libra. It's just not. Okay. So with that being said, I'm not saying all of this to tell you Libra, you just need to stay with this man. You just need to stay with this woman. Just wait until they improve and, and change and become the man or the woman you've always want them to be. I'm not saying that but what I'm saying is is that if you walk away and you put yourself out there all over again you're going to get immediately discouraged because you're going to stumble across somebody who is far worse than this one over here that you're currently dealing with okay um don't put yourself out there just kind of focus more so on yourself Libra if anything um what else Tell me more about this Knight of Cups, because I feel like eventually love will come and find you. Love will definitely come and find you. That's kind of besides the point. The bottom of the deck. You may not feel this way right now, but I'm going to go ahead and say it anyways. I'm going to go ahead and say it anyways. If you were to walk away from this relationship and just avoid love for a little while and just kind of focus on you and manifest and creating a life that, you know, you truly want and desire for yourself. One thing that I feel like you're going to realize as well as this person to the right of me is going to realize is that you already, technically speaking, found the one for you. You already have. It may not feel that way right now. It may not even seem that way right now. And I, I totally understand. I totally understand, Libra. But... You've already, technically speaking, found the one. They, technically speaking, already found the one, a.k.a. you. You've already kind of met the one, a.k.a. this person that you're just like, oh, my God, I just want this man out of my life or this woman out of my life. You, you've already basically met the one. And I got to give it to them, Libra. I got to give it to them. They're going from the King of Wands to the King of Cups to the King of Pentacles. So that's telling me that this person is drastically changing in this relationship for the sake of... I don't want to lose my Libra. So if I have to stop doing this, I'm going to stop doing this. If I have to change this about myself, I'm going to change this about myself because I'm not losing Libra. This person is drastically changing in this relationship and I got to give it to them. And the only reason why they're doing all this is because they don't want to lose you. This is not a show that they're putting on here for you. This is just the real deal. They're actually changing in this relationship. Now, granted, even though I see them coming across as a king of pentacles in the near future they're still not you know everything that you want them to be and like i said there's levels to this we got the king of wands king of swords king of cups king of pentacles and then boom that's when we hit emperor status you want an emperor in your life completely understand but they're a hair away from being an emperor a hair away from being an emperor so i don't know in other words, you can walk away from this relationship all you want, Libra, but the universe will bring the two of you back together. I do see that happening. And I do see you realizing like, damn, like I had a good thing. I was just a little too picky. I was a little too whatever. You know what I mean? Um, you will realize that. And so will they. So will they. So will they. Um, the universe will bring the two of you back together because you guys are supposed to be together. And I get, I, I, like I said, you may not feel that way right now. And I completely understand why you wouldn't. But the universe will bring the two of you back together. So you can walk away if you want to. You can get with this page if you want to. And that's fine. Uh, what's meant to be will be. And nothing will come in between that. So this connection, I'm going to be honest. Uh, does appear to me as a connection that's meant to be so you can move across the country if you want to this connection between you and this person will still happen it will still be because what's destined to happen is destined to happen there's not really much that you can do to kind of stop that or change that okay so if you guys do break up if you do decide to walk away eventually the universe will bring you back together you can move across the country whatever you want to do libra but the, the universe will bring you guys back together um because i do see a reconciliation happening here between you and this person all right what else can you tell me for my libras <clears throat> all right so we do have deception we also have express your love and then we also have free yourself 
Um, there's, this is random. Uh, deception's very similar to the Five of Swords, which you did get on your behalf, so did they. But anyways, um, there, there's an overall energy of you kind of feeling like this person just doesn't want to see you happy. And that's why you're going through everything that you're going through is because they just don't want to see you happy. They just don't want to see you happy. I don't... I'm going to be honest, it's not that this person doesn't want to see you happy. I'm going based off of the cards that I'm getting here. Um, it's it's just because they just don't want to lose. You mean too damn much to them for them to just up and, and walk away and let you walk away. Um, I don't feel like it is kind of stemming from that place, but I can understand why you would look at it in that manner. Like, no, like they just don't want to see me happy. And I understand. I understand completely. Uh, we have give your relationship a chance. And then we also have religious factors, which is very similar to the hair font as well as temperance for me anyways as a reader. And then we have give your relationship a chance. Very similar to the um, judgment card in tarot. Um, like I said, I'm not really worried and concerned about this relationship. You could walk away, move across the country. They could walk away, move across the country. Although I highly doubt they'll do that. Um, the universe will always bring you guys back together. So. I don't know what else to say, Libra. I mean, it just kind of looks like this just was destined. You know what I mean? to be um wh what i will say is this dude um what i will say is this okay i could tell that this person really does love you i could tell that you truly do mean a lot to them i can tell because every time i look into this person and i gotta give it to them if they have the cards to back them up on this i have to give it to them um they are drastically changing this king is drastically changing and i'm not gonna sit here and say that they're not um they are drastically changing for the sake of not wanting to lose you so i have to give it to them libra i can't sit here and say yo this person's not changing and i can't sit here and i can't do that especially with the cards that we're getting here for this person i'm gonna have to give it to them that they are drastically changing i'm gonna have to give it to them libra i'm sorry i'm gonna have to give it to them um they may not be the man you want them to be right now or the woman that you want them to be right now sorry my alarm went off and it literally completely um stop the reading but anyways um like i said they may not be the man or the woman that you want them to be right now libra but there, there's a huge possibility that eventually in time they'll be exactly who you want them to be um it's just gonna take some time that that's one thing that i will say all right libra so that's what i have for you hopefully the reading helped hopefully it resonated and i will see you guys in your next reading bye